we have today a Pinbot System 11 MPU, System 11 nothing, because it's got all the amplification section, the amplifier, 1J15 and 16 are on the board. And the board was sent to me along with the sound board, and the indication was that there's no sound coming out of anywhere. And I found that to be true. I did find that the issue with the soundboard, or the sound, was probably isolated to the soundboard itself. But what I did to the MPU was I replaced these two 10 microfarad caps, which can sometimes interrupt the sound signal. A 470, 16 there, 125, 325. Somebody had already replaced this 22 microfarad in the reset section. The header at 1J17, and I have installed NVRAM. This board came without processors or ROMs, so those are my shop ROMs and processors in the board right now. The sound board was, it was a little crazy. I replaced five 10 microfarad caps just for good measure. Somebody had reflowed the solder on the caps. That never does any good. The root cause of the problem, and I've seen this a couple of times on this particular board, was one, a dead 6809. And you can see how the heat has damaged the label on top of the 6809. And then after that, this Yamaha 3012, was dead also. The 3012 works in tandem with the 2151 located here on the board to uh, produce the FM synthesized sounds. I did verify the ROM. I did test the 2151. I did replace a header for power header. It was just a little gnarly looking. And then uh, there were three LM1458s, one, two, three, and at least one of them was failed. I replaced all of them. And so now I believe we have all of the sound back. Booting. Pinbot doesn't make the tink well, like high speed does. It does make a bong, which is nice. So the board is booted. I'm gonna show you the operation, total operation of the board. So this is the lamp matrix operating and the solenoid section has two solenoids turned on right now. My guess is those are trying to drive the visor in some direction. So let's get into test. Here we are in music test. Before, this wasn't making a single sound at all. And I got this part of the sound back by replacing one of the 1458s. So there's all the sound. One of the advantages of sending your board to uh, somebody like me is I have spare boards that I can use to verify the proper operation of the chips on your board, or I can use these spare boards to more quickly isolate the issue to the MPU or to the sound board. So while display test is running, you can see that's working. This is my D11581 soundboard, which works perfectly with Pinbot ROMs in it, even though uh, Pinbot came with a D11298 soundboard, only partially populated also. This soundboard, well, yeah, the soundboard and the 1151 both, sometimes they populated these sections and sometimes they didn't. It depended on what the requirements of the specific game were. The 298 you can recognize as the sounds are, I mean the ROMs are configured 1, 2, 3 like this, so this is 4, 19, and 20 versus the way they are on the newer soundboard. So now we're going to go to sound test. And then lamp test. Good to have the sounds of Pinbot working again. This is single lamp test. And this lamp matrix tester provided to me by Victor. 
you can sell you a kit and you can put it together or whatever you can see there's some ghosting that's fairly typical of system 11 and of course this is an led display solenoids and what you're seeing is it's lighting solenoid 14 that is the ac select relay for pinbot pinbot was before they standardized on Solenoid 12 as being an AC select relay. You can see it was driving at Solenoid 13 a little quicker or a little longer. Those are the special solenoids. 13 a little longer because it needed to move the visor motor. So all the solenoids are working. And we're going to go to switch edges. And the last... Switch on Pinbot is switch 60. So, and across the diagonal. And here it is 60. So, those switches are working properly. Now we're into the adjustments and audits. If I can remember where it is this time. Yeah. We're on free play now since there's NVRAM in here. And the client gets this board back. Although I did forget I'm going to have to take these ROMs and the processors out. Maybe the free play will still be retained. But this board pair is good to go right now. Here's the tag of quality. You'll see on boards that come out of my shop, I do have to take this outside and wash it down. One thing about it being 90 plus degrees in St. Louis is the boards dry off pretty quickly. The V with a circle means that I have made a video of the board in test. Same for the soundboard. Thank you so much for sending it. Everybody have a great summer.